Next, we are going to use basic subroutines to complete the class exercise. The task of the exercise is to have the robot start from the starting point and follow the route shown to the end of the line. You can first try to complete the class exercises on your own, and if you have problems in the process, you can follow along with me next. The first step is to get the robot out of the starting area so that the light sensor is over the main route. Let's write the program. To get the robot out of the starting area, you can use the go straight for a while module, with the speed set to 70 and the time can be set to 1 second. Switch to the simulation interface, click start simulation, and you can see that the robot is out of the starting area, and the light sensor is over the main route. Next, let's program the robot to patrol to this crossroad and turn right. Let's program the robot to patrol the line to the crossroad, then turn right and stop at the line. Switch to the simulation interface, click start simulation. And you can see that there is nothing wrong with the program. Next, we need to have the robot patrol the line to this one right T intersection and turn right. The program we just wrote is fine, so we can set it aside for now. Next, let's write the program for the robot to patrol the line and turn right at the right T intersection. We can copy this program and change it to 45 here. Switch to the simulation interface, click start debugging, and you can see that we have written the program without problems. Next, we write the program that allows the robot to patrol the line and turn left at this left T intersection. You can start by placing this program below the previous one, and then have the robot patrol the line to the left T intersection and turn left. Switch to the simulation interface and click Start Debugging. The robot stops here after turning left, this is because we did not let the robot correctly distinguish between the left T intersection and the right angle curve on the left, so we have to modify the program. We can use the line patrol for a while module to solve this problem. Let the robot patrol the line from here for a while, cross the left right angle curve and then go to detect the left T intersection. First set the speed to 70, patrol time of 4 seconds, you can first try the simulation to see if the patrol time is appropriate. Then you can see that the patrol time is fine. Next, put this program back here, switch to the simulation interface, move the robot back here, and click start debugging. Then you can see that there is no problem with the program we wrote. Next, we want the robot to make a right turn at the T-intersection. Put this program here and let the robot make a right turn at the T-intersection. Switch to the simulation interface, click Start Debugging, and the program is fine. Then, let the robot patrol the line to this T-junction and turn left. You can place this program here, and then let the robot patrol the line to the T-junction and turn left. Switch to the simulation interface, click Start Debugging. And there is no problem with the program. Then the robot has to patrol the line through this dashed line, and then keep patrolling the line past this acute angle, and keep patrolling the line to the end. How should it be programmed? You can start by trying to get the robot to patrol the line all the way to the end. Place this program here, and then have the robot patrol the line all the way to the end. Switch to the simulation interface, click Start Debugging, and you can see that there is no problem with the program. Then we put all the programs together. Switch to the simulation interface, and click Start Simulation.
At this point, we finished the class exercise. Let's summarize the content of this lesson. In this lesson, we learned the basic principles of 5 light sensor patrol and also the method of using basic subroutines. The methods provided in this lesson are for reference only. There are sometimes many uncertainties in the results of the simulation due to a variety of factors. Finally, please complete this post-lesson exercise. Have the robot patrol the line from the start to the end and get all the stars. That's the end of this lesson. Thank you for watching.